Hey, yo, what's this? Yo, check this out. My daughter was talking to me earlier about Pokemon, and she's like, hey, Pikachu, you like Pikachu? And I'm thinking in my mind, like, you're four. I never introduced you to Pokemon. How do you know about Pokemon? You know, so it just prompted me. I thought it was so cute. It just prompted me to use Pikachu myself for today, right? So I have a core. Speaking of this Pikachu, right? This core is the, a defensive core. It's not something that I in particular will want to use in high ladder, but at the same time, it's built so that you can have opportunities to bring in Pikachu and have Pikachu do something. You know, um, it is, just off the record, it is T-Bolt, Surf, Encore, and Unprotected Focus Punch, right? I've caught so many people with Focus Punch. Oh my god. It's hilarious, right? I wish I had all that stuff while I was at home. You know, as opposed to just being outside of somebody else's computer. But, okay, check this out, right? Let's get to the battle. My opponent's gonna have Sand Slash as well as Miltank, the Trio, Magmortar, Shenotic, as well as Frostmoth. So let's get this replay going, right? I'm gonna lead off with Center Scorch. He leads off with Miltank. I want some chip damage on that as soon as possible. I cannot afford to have Miltank in here. If I want to surprise this thing, especially with the unprotected focus punch, oh, that would be what? That would be so gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna bring in my Pikachu, thinking that he's gonna set up the rocks. I'm just gonna encore him. I thought, it was, I thought that was going to be the play. He just set up, sets up rocks. I encore him onto rocks and I get an unprotected focus punch onto something. That would have been beautiful, right? Beautiful, majestic, right? So I bring in Jellison on the Magmortar. I opt to go for the Skull just in case he wants to bring in um, Dug Trio and or something else. Why would he want to bring on Dug Trio? What am I saying? What am I talking about? But that doesn't happen, but I'm just going to put that thing on the timer by hitting with the Toxic. He is going to bring in his Frost Moth and an attempt to set up on the Jealousy. That does not happen. I bring in Persian just in case this was going to happen, but I cannot afford anything to have a Quiver Dance. Anything plus, pass plus two is unacceptable for this particular team here, right? It's, it's, even if I have Audino, nothing can stop that. I have to worry about a lot of things. So. He brings in Mac Mortar. I bring in a Pikachu. He thought I was going to go for the Jellicent. That doesn't happen. I should have actually just went for the T-Ball here so that he could just be, he could opt to do that. It'll be a 2 kill after he goes for the, th the Thunderbolt and I could just go for an unprotected Focus Punch on the biggest threat to my team right here, which is Duck Trio. I cannot afford to to have Duck Trio ruin anything on anything on my defensive core at all. Like I went for the counter. That's just an exemplif exemplification for how scared I really am of Doug Trio, like check that out, right? So I'm gonna go for the Toxic as well as going for the Witch on the Switch Out. If I didn't wish right here, honestly, I would have lost the game Comple like, completely. Since I can't switch in, he gets three hit kill by um by Earthquake, and I would have to sacrifice something, which means that something else could chip away at my team. I cannot afford to have any part of my defensive core room. He brings in Sand Slash of his own. I'm gonna set the spikes, and the high the idea is I don't want to appear desperate as to just keep going for Earthquake, Earthquake, Earthquake. So I'm gonna mix it up between spikes, knock off, as well as Earthquake. I want this thing gone, completely gone. It's too defensive for me to have. It's too defensive, and it's just like way too many things that it could actually damage, as opposed to like maybe Persian, Audino itself. I can't afford to have. I can't afford to have that. Like it's just, I'm way too much of a at a disadvantage here. Look, this thing comes back in, and even though Persian has a fur coat, it's not exactly a damaging move where it's like makes contact, so it doesn't mitigate any kind of damage. So I'm able to go for the party shot, go for the Audino. I just gotta wish up here. You know, and he goes for the Earthquake, it's a 3 hit kill there, which means that Sand Slash should be at an HP where it'll be able to survive an incoming Earthquake, and it does! Great! Amazing! Oh, okay! Alright, so now I'm back in the game here, right? So I'm just gonna opt to switch out and set the score, thinking this thing was gonna come in. This thing has to be gone, please! Just stay, oh, he stays and goes for the Hurricane, it doesn't kill, I reply, reply back with a Fire Lash, and I'm able to knock it out. That's amazing! Gone! Out of here! This thing, yo! I cannot, this guy is worrying me way too much. Alright, so let me just calm down a little bit, right? Now, Earthquake is back at his original damage output. Now, I'm just going to go for the Wish as I go back into my Sand Slash, which is great anyway, because Sand Slash is now back at full. Amazing. I can just auto switch right back into my Aldino. Go for the Wish. It doesn't matter if he brings in Dutch I'll just go for the Wish again to protect, and then go for the Wish again, and then auto switch out into the defensive core there. But um, now, in comes Miltank, right? I'm just going to go for the Wish and then hit the Persian. Hopefully, he goes for Toxic and or Rocks here. I can get Persian back into where I made a safe space where I can go for repeated party shots, you know, because that would be ideal here. I'll go for the taunt thinking that he was going to go for like maybe toxic on this thing to put my Persian on a timer. He doesn't do that. Shows me body press, right? And then now I'm just going to party shot as he brings in Duck Trio. So now this is great. Since I should have full HP, I can go and go for the Earthquake even though Shinotic, um... Resist it, it's chip damage plus it has a toxic, that's amazing, plus it's slower than Sand Slash. So that'll be amazing. But he cuts the game off there and that will be GG. Oh my god.
gosh. My brain, my brain, my brain. I can't take much more of this. I really can't. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm telling you, Showdown puts me at a place sometimes where it's just like, man, like, like I feel like one or two battles. Like, I could be all there, there all day, right? I could spend two hours, have so-and-so battles, but then, like, bro, it'll be like there's one or two people, like, maybe higher up in a ladder. And it's just like, whether I win or lose, like, it's like, yo... The headache that it gives me, like, it's just, you ever, you ever be so in-depth in a game, like a puzzle game or something like that, and you just, like, it takes you hours to figure it out, but the moment you figure it out, it's like, yeah, you know, like, your brain, like, you just want to turn the game off afterwards to give your brain a rest. This is that kind of battle, like, it just, like, and it was so strenuous because of my core. I'm using Pikachu. I'm not, yo, I, I cannot, if you guys want this party, use it, feel free to use it, but, um, yeah, that's it. I'm rambling on way too much. I just realized, whoa, short video, <laughs> longer retention, right? Amazing. So, if you guys enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe, um, talk to me. You know, I love comments. Talk to me. I'm a very social person. I'm kind of lonely without you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But honestly, yeah, talk to me. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. What you doing? What did I just do? What, what is that?